All right, welcome back. This is going to be part 89, 89 of my presentation on dinosaurs and man. And for several videos, um, I have been rabbit trailing and kind of giving a brief summation on uh, where evolution, the, the topic of evolution or the uniformitarian uh, view of, of long ages and stuff like that, where that kind of came from. Now, there were other people that had their influence in this also, but for the most part, these are the key figures um, and how evolution got going, got started. And so um, it's, it's really interesting when you get to look at it, um, exactly where it started at and where we are now. Um, it really hasn't been that far along, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to um, show how close it was when it first got started to where they found those man tracks. Um, well, they, they call them man tracks, but the dinosaur and human tracks together. And so I wanted to show just how close that was and how people, for the most part, even scientists and stuff, they believed the Bible. Um, and they, f they, they fell under a certain category of catastrophism. So you had uniformitarianism, and then you had catastrophism. And so um, the catastrophism being um, what the biblical worldview uh, would have, and the uniformitarianism would be under where the uh, secular worldview would, would fall into. And so... Um, and so, and I think I'm going to go ahead and, and add those two words to that chart. Um, up until now, I, had, I haven't had catastrophism or uniformitarianism added to that chart. From here on out, you will see those two words under, under biblical worldview and secular worldview. They will be under there for now on. And so, uh, but guys, if you'll notice on the screen here, um, what I did is I, I did this little chart myself, and this is to give you a little comparison on how close that the whole, when whenever it really actually got started, um, that how close they were to the Paluxy River um, discovery. And so you got uh, uh, Hutton. Now, if you look, if you go at the, at the very bottom there, um, at the bottom left-hand corner, I've got it into years to make it a little bit more easier. Um, but you got Hutton, which was 1795 to Darwin, 1871, was only 76 years. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Darwin, 1859 to the Paluxy River. That's that's when he uh, uh, pu uh, published that book called The Origin of Species by, by uh, Means of Natural Selection or the Preservation of Races in the Struggle of Life. He published that book in 1859. Well, that time period to the Paluxy River discovery was only 59 years, guys, 59 years. And so there's probably a lot of people have probably never heard of Darwin at that time. They didn't know who he was. Um, so you got Darwin in 1871 when he published The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex. That was the book where he said, we come from apes. Um, and so that he theorized that we um, evolved from an ape-like creature. And so, so from 1871 to the Paluxy River discovery, it's only 47 years. So you can see how when those people discovered those tracks and saw those tracks, you know, they didn't think any, think any you know, much of it, you know, it wasn't no big deal. They believed the Bible um, and uh, they didn't have any problem at all. Now, I will say this. Now, if you'll notice on that chart there between Lyle and Darwin, I added Owen, Sir Richard Owen, in there. That's around 1840, 1842, somewhere in that time period. That's the dates that I've been able to find, um, is when he coined that word dinosaur, dinosaur. Now, from Owen's uh, coining that word dinosaur, to um, the Paluxy River discovery is only 68 years, guys. Now, I have a dictionary from 1873, 1873. And do you know that the word dinosaur wasn't even, didn't even make it to that dictionary yet? Now, th now think about it. Owens coined it in 1840, 1842. Well, he didn't even make it to the dictionary in 1873. And so, you know, somebody from the Paluxy River they may not have even known what those tracks were. And I do say that because um, 
before that time there, uh, the Native American Indians in that area of Texas, they had, they had uh, discovered dinosaur tracks in other areas, and they called them giant turkey tracks giant turkey tracks. And so it very well could be that even at that time, the American Indians, um, the Native American Indians, they didn't know what a dinosaur was or the word, quote unquote, what they would use back then, prehistoric. They had had no no idea. They just saw those giant tracks and said, man, those look like giant turkey tracks. And so again, people uh, seeing human tracks um, preserved, fossilized, they didn't think much of it, and a matter, and a matter of fact, from the from the information that I gave you before in, in previous videos, um, the people thought that it was probably a common thing all over the world, and other people were seeing it. You know, they didn't think much of it, and so evolution didn't have its influence or didn't have much influence by 1908. Um, and so, you know, people believe in the Bible and believing that even. Uh, dinosaurs existing with man was no big deal because you got to think dinosaur, the land animals was created on day six, right along with man on day six. It's literal. Those are literal 24 hour periods. And the Lord even states what he did on each day. And so dinosaur, the land dinosaurs would have been created with man on day six. Now I do want to show you something else. Um, now this is, uh, now we, we, let's go back here for just a minute. Um, if you notice that the last book that Darwin um, uh, published was in 1871. So from 1871 to this next um, incident here, which was 1972. So we're talking about 100 years, 100 years. This was in Dinosaur Valley State Park. The grand opening was in 1972. Um, the park officially opened in 1968, but it was established in 1972. That was uh, some of the um, information that I was able to glean. Now, this guy named Jesse Diaz saw something very interesting at the park. Um, Jesse visited the park, uh, this was in 1972, and saw dinosaur and human tracks that were marked by the museum. Dinosaurs had the name of the type they were, they were, and the human tracks were very large, and they were marked as cavemen, cavemen. Twelve years later, Jesse returned with his wife to show her the human tracks, and the park staff denied any knowledge of the human tracks and stated there were never any human tracks. As he was leaving the park, an elderly man approached Jesse and told him that he used to work for the park and confirmed that the tracks did exist and were removed. The caveman signs marking the tracks um, Jesse originally uh, saw were put into a shed. Um, the man pointed to the shed by him. The man that he was talking to said that he put those signs in there. And so here we are a hundred years later and um, even people when they had discovered those tracks they just said, hmm, those must be caveman tracks, and they put it in there. Now, that track, now that park there, Dinosaur Valley State Park, they do not agree with um, human and dinosaurs coexisting together um, as of that 12 years later, all the way up until now. And now, if you go up there and you try to talk about the um, dinosaur and human tracks together, they won't even talk about it. They won't even talk about it at all. I actually heard a video, an audio. It was a video that had an audio of somebody that was asking one of the park staff about it, and they very rudely shut them down and said that they weren't going to talk about it and said that there weren't no human um, tracks in there. But Jesse here, Jesse Diaz here, um, you will see the video of him. Those are one of the videos that I will share, and you will see his testimony of where he actually eyewitnessed it himself. And so, um, but... Just to show you that map again, um, if you look at the very top, very top of this map, you'll see Dinosaur Valley State Park. That's where it is. And then if you look, just you could probably walk. <laughs> it is walking distance to the Creation Evidence Museum. There you have um, Dr. Carl Ball's museum. And so, um, you know, so they are definitely in opposition of each other. And so, but at one point in time, Jesse Diaz said that he did see uh, the tracks, 
and he said he saw the signs where they marked it. And so, but then again, guys, that's about a hundred years um, from the last publishing of um, or the last uh, 1871 when Darwin published his, uh, his his second book there. All right, we're going to stop right there. When we come back uh, next time, we are going to continue right along with the dinosaur and human tracks and uh, discuss some more areas about it, some more information about it, give you some more background. And that way you'll have yourself some good, well-rounded knowledge about the topic. So you guys take care. I love you and hope the Lord blesses you real good. Bye-bye.